Hey everybody, Dave Altavilla here for Hot Hardware in scenic Somerset, New Jersey. Main Gear's headquarters, don't you know? There's the new Main Gear logo, Space Invaders inspired, very snappy. Here, as always, with my partner in crime, Marco Cipetta. How's it going, everybody? How you doing, bud? Good to see you. Doing all right. And uh, we have Brent from Main Gear here, smart guy. He's going to give us a hand at building this all AMD powered gaming rig. Uh, what do we got on display here? Um, the good stuff, the top end stuff. We got some really good stuff. So we have an XFX Radeon 7900 XTX to push the pixels. We have AMD's flagship Ryzen 9 7900 X3D processor. And it's all going to go into a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master motherboard. Nice. And a uh, custom Main Gear MG1 with a little logo action going on the front for Hot Hardware's um, fans, always, we gotta have, the, gotta have the colors represented. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some 3D Vcash too, so stick with us, we're gonna have some fun. Next. So before we get started on the build, we should probably run through all of the hardware we're gonna use in a little bit more detail. So starting all the way over here on my right, we have a Thermaltake Tough Power 1200 watt ATX3 ready power supply. We have this uh, Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master Motherboard. This is powered by the AMD X670 Extreme chipset. So you get that full PCIe 5 support. Board's got tons of cooling, really nice board down here. In front, we have a 64 gig dual channel kit of DDR5 6000 memory from G-Skill. And this kit does support AMD Expo memory technology for easy tweaking and overclocking. And of course, we have AMD's flagship Ryzen 9 7950 X3D processor. That's going to be cooled by this Cooler Master Master Liquid ML280 Mirror Liquid Cooler. And hiding all the way down in front there is a 2 terabyte Solidyne P44 Pro SSD. And pushing the pixels will be this absolutely ginormous XFX Merc 310 Radeon RTX 7900 XTX, so AMD's flagship GPU. Now all of this hardware is going to get put in this beautiful Main Gear MG1 chassis. And once it's all assembled and ready to go, we'll power it up and see how she goes. All right, so I'm back here behind the table again. I get Brent with me. Marco just teed up all the components. But uh, Brent has a very specific process here, the main gear way, if you will. And he's going to tell us uh, the flow of, of what he thinks is the uh, best practice for a build. Yeah, so to start off, we'll want to prep our motherboard, uh, get all the stuff that, you know, hardwires into the motherboard there, uh, seat the CPU, uh, get the RAM in there and the SSD. And then when our motherboard's prepped, we can bring that into the case. Uh, we'll need to assemble our cooler next, and then uh, we'll bring that into the case, mount that into onto the CPU, make sure we get lots of thermal paste and it's all good. And then we'll bring our remaining components in, probably our graphics card here, and then our power supply and wire everything up at the end, which is my favorite part. Yes, the origami <laughs> known as uh, uh, routing wires in a PC, a gaming PC. So yeah, just um, a, a good, good quick snapshot of the process. We're gonna load up the motherboard first is what I, I believe Brent said. Yep. CPU and uh, memory and SSD, and then uh, we'll go from there. Sounds like fun, right? Let's do it. All right, so we're about to get rolling. Brent, why don't you take it away and show us what you like to do first? So let's start with CPU. Okay. Um, I just like to get the, you know, the brains in there right off the bat. I wish I had some of that. <laughs> uh, so you've got the 7950 X3D here. Yeah, so if, if anyone's interested, we have a full review of the Ryzen 9 7950 X3D up at Hot Hardware. This is their current flagship 16 core 32 thread chip, max boost of 5.7 gigahertz. And this is the big boy with 144 megs of L2 plus L3 cache. So current top of the line for great for creators and gamers. So what's next, Brent? Uh, we're going to slot in your awesome looking memory here. Cool. Yeah, so I don't have a complete review of this G-Skill memory kit on its own, but if you check out our 7950 X3D review, we did use a G-Skill kit with AMD Expo support as well. 6,000 megahertz, right? Exactly. So one thing to note as you're plugging in memory into your motherboard, if you're doing a build on your own, there are preferred slots for the first two DIMMs on this particular board. It's slots one and three. 
and this will be a dual channel 64 gig configuration. Yeah. You can check the motherboard manual on this board. It's actually written right on the board there, which is nice. All right, and where are we going to from here? Uh, we'll do SSD next. Um, so we've got to remove this M giant M.2 heatsink that you've got in here. Just two screws. I will give you the drive, and yes. while he's installing the drive, I'll remove, I'll give you the satisfaction of removing the goo. <laughs> We're having trouble with this one. There we go. And with M.2, it's really easy. Just pop it right in. And then most of the new motherboards today even have a toolless design. You just just like that. We're there you done. go. And while he's installing the heat sink, um, coincidentally, we do have a full review of the Solidheim P44 Pro at Hot Hardware as well. This is a really nice PCIe Gen 4 drive. Um, really good sequentials and also performed very well in all of the, the real world tests and the trace based tests. This is a good drive for gaming and productivity. Sweet. So now our motherboard's prepped and we're ready to go into the case. All right, so I'm back behind the camera. I get to play a little bit. Brent is going to install the motherboard in the case. That's your next step, right? Yep. You've loaded up the RAM. You've loaded up the CPU. Now we bolt that sucker into the MG1 chassis. Yeah. So we'll start by, I like to take all the panels off. Just give yourself lots of room to work with. You're going to leave that tasty plastic on the side? That's I'll peel it off. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that at the end. That's oh, at the, the end. final reveal, right? Right. We don't want to scratch the glass or something. Um, and then on the MG1, you can also take this lower panel off, which just will help with wiring later with the power supply. Oh, nice. And there's a small screw right here. That comes right out. Beauteous. So that's home to the power supply eventually. And then we'll just take the back off in case we need to access it. He's dropping screws, people. <laughs> there we go. Nice. And then, just like every other computer, all your screws are usually in your hard drive bay, along with some RGB stuff. But this is what we need. Excellent. And then to do the motherboard, you can put it in vertically, but I like to lay the chassis down. Just feels okay. a little bit safer. All right, let's let's uh, let's do that. Laying down said chassis. Oh, standoffs are already built in. That's nice. Yep. Um, part of like w when we developed the MG1 is not only, you know, making it good for the customer and everything, but also to make it easier for us to build in. So every little thing that you can do ahead of time reduces build time, which reduces cost for our customer too. Amen, so, yeah. Um, After you. I'll just pop this in. And luckily your motherboard already has the IO shield installed. Nothing worse than built the whole computer, realize you forgot that. The IO shield is critical, yes. So this is the Gigabyte Aorus X670E Master Motherboard. Getting around this cable. Going into the Main Gear MG1 chassis. So we had to back up a little bit here. That uh, 120 millimeter fan, is it a 120 millimeter fan? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, was in the way a little bit of the IO shield on the motherboard, but um, a quick couple of screws later, and then we'll put it back in. Yeah. Drop this in, line it up, and it looks like you're good. And then get all your motherboard screws. Mm. 
magnetic drill bit. Yep. <laughs> Lifesaver in these situations. I'm going to turn down my torque all the way down to one here. So one of the things we figured out is that this is an EATX motherboard, so an extended ATX motherboard, and it, uh, it still fits in this case with a little bit of finagling. Did you ever play that game Operation you were, when you were a kid, Brent? Right. You just like took out the guy's heart and you're putting it back in. Or the wishbone less, or something like that. It's a lot less stressful when it's a computer, that's for <laughs> sure. Yeah, for one thing it doesn't go eh <clears throat> when, <you, laughs> when you mess it up. Here. That would be the exhaust fan, don't you know? I have a keen sense of the obvious. All right, Brent, what are we moving on to next? We got our motherboard installed, so uh, we're gonna put the chassis aside for a minute. Uh, and we're gonna prep our cooler, get our fans on there, get all the wires in the right spot, and then we can put it on our CPU. If you wouldn't mind sure. unwrapping those. Don't be lazy, give Brent a hand. <laughs> I'm here, I'm working. I know. These are the jokes, buddy. <laughs> Dad jokes, but jokes nonetheless. Okay. Mountain bracket. I will get rid of all of this plastic so it's not cluttering up your workspace. So what we have here is a Cooler Master 280 millimeter radiator. We have to get the fans mounted to it. And then that whole assembly is gonna get mounted up inside the chassis. And you're even gonna use the screwdriver with thumb screws. Lazy man. It's all, it's all about efficiency, right? Do you want me to help with a couple? Sure. We can even go old school. School. All right. Hey, he's not using ChatGPT. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm speedrunning this build. <laughs> so this is one of those times where experience building a PC helps. Um, Brent's going to show you something that he's doing beforehand that some people may have saved for the end, and it would have bit them in the butt. So Brent, show us what you're doing right now. Yeah. So um, there's not a lot of clearance once we get the radiator in here for the top of the motherboard. So we're going to plug in our CPU power connectors here beforehand and then feed them through the back because it's really hard to get your fingers in there after the uh, cooler is in there. Okay, we're at the point where we can get this whole assembly mounted in the chassis. So I'm going to shimmy it in there and hold it in place while Brent screws it in. Okay, I think we are good to go. A bit of a tight fit, but it looks good. We'll loosen this one off just a tad. You slide that forward just a There you go. All right, my job's done. <laughs> Cool. We're at the point now where we're ready to install thermal paste on the CPU, and this is a contentious subject with enthusiast Brent. How do you like to do it? Uh, I'm personally, I like the X method. You like to do the X method. I'm going to show you how I do it because I'm anal. Now, normally, if I was being super anal retentive, I would put a little dab on the CPU and on the heat plate on the cooler. I would rub it in and then clean it off. So you end up with like a little haze on both. You fill in all the micro gaps. But instead, I just put a little piece of plastic over my finger and then spread it perfectly smooth and thin. And then you know you have full coverage. Which that's all that really matters. Yeah, you really just need the thinnest amount possible that's gonna be able to get full coverage of the heat spreader. So the whole thing makes contact with the cooler. Don't mess uh, it up. All right, that is good enough. It'll spread out a little bit. I'll let Brent mount 
the actual pump and don't forget the most important part and pull off the uh, oh, protective yes. cover there. <laughs> you want to make sure you take out the plastic or you'll, you'll notice later when your CPU is really hot. I think we're going this way. The cables are a little resistive, but and this hardware is pretty easy to mount. You just get it under that hook like that. And the same on the other side. Lots of, can be lots of fingers in here. Okay, now it's on and then we just tighten them both evenly until you can't, hand, pretty much until it's hand tight. So before we move on to the, the GPU and power supply, um, we're gonna take care of some of the case connectors real quick. Brent's plugging them in right now. The USB connector, front panel USB. Yep, and then your HD audio here. All right, now we get the moment of truth kind of sorta. This is a large GPU, the Radeon 7900 XTX from XFX. We get lots of X's going on and uh, Brent's gonna brave it into the slot. You wanna get up here close because it's gonna be pretty tight. This is a tight fit, ladies and germs. So we're doing a little bit of like Tetris, like T twisting here. Yeah. Bracket around there. Defying the laws of physics. Okay. All clear. You just need to line up the slot. Which is hard to see when there's a big graphics card in the way. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Click. All right, now it's time for some power supply action. We got the Thermaltake Tough Power GF3 1200 watt. ATX 3.0 power supply. This is a fully modular PSU, pretty nice. Uh, it does have a zero power uh, fan switch. So if you want it to be able to disable the fan, you can leave it on or you can shut it off. So this is the part where some system builders think that they're almost done because look how pretty and clean this side looks, but you're actually coming up on the hardest part, getting all these cables neatly tucked away and get this side of the system as clean as this side of the system is way harder. We're gonna let the experts at Main Gear take care of that. We're not gonna show you as each cable gets touched. The next time you see this side of the system, it's going to be Main Gear clean. Hey everybody, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here in scenic Warren, New Jersey at the headquarters of Main Gear Computers with the CEO of Main Gear Wallace Santos. How you doing, bud? Good, man. It's Welcome. Been a, it's been a while. It's yeah, great to see you. A couple again. years, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you have a new facility here. Yes. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's like 78 degrees out. You brought the warm weather with us. You brought the warm weather. So apparently. It's, it's like perfect today. <laughs> it's not Boston weather, I guarantee you. But show us around because this place is looking great. We just got through building a PC, which we'll show you in a little bit as well. But before we do that, I'm going to take you on a nickel tour of the factory. Let's go. So welcome. Um, this is where the magic happens. Um, so we'll start here at the front. Uh, this is where we have uh, all of our sales and support. Uh, so we have a kind of like a hybrid uh, where some people work from home, some people work from here. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's uh, it's a, like you know the idea was to build a comfortable place uh, where it's just a, it's a good it's a good environment to be right. Yeah. And uh, that was actually our whole concept. Actually, when we when we acquired this building, was the idea was to build a place where we're proud, right? Where the we're proud of the product at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like you get the final beautiful product, but where it's built really matters. So I'll show you around. Sounds good, man. This looks great. We'll start, um, we'll start from like the back of the building and uh, we'll, walk to, we'll walk around, right? So it's uh, sales support and then we have here the marketing people. Um, this is the marketing team. Sorry about that, the marketing team. This is where uh, a lot of our social media and a lot of the, 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 the ideas, the, the Twitter, you know, Instagram and, uh, and uh, TikTok. That's, mm -hmm. that's where all the ideas are coming from. Nice. A lot of the web page design stuff like that comes out of here too. So the social bullpen, so to speak. Yes, yes. And uh, man, you got a lot more room here. These oh, yeah, too. oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. This is the war room. This is where we're doing uh, a lot of heated, uh, passionate, Discussions are taking place. Yep. Uh, we spend a lot of time here. Uh, we, you know, be, being able to work with the guys uh, that are really passionate uh, is is actually amazing because it's almost like a, it's like a it's like a a really heated, passionate conversation takes place, and at the end result is really nice, right? Yeah. We we end up coming up with the you know really good ideas. So it's uh, 
spend a lot of time Sometimes in there. Sometimes you got to sweat it out a little bit. Right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, this is Ron's office. He's probably in the meeting. Ronnie. <laughs> um, this is our um, our RMA uh, and support center. So systems that are being serviced, um, systems that are coming back for upgrades. Uh, all come to this room. Uh, the idea here is um, the, the, there's key cards throughout the building, so only a, a certain amount of people or certain people can have access to this room. Data privacy, stuff like that is really important, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a clean room as well. There's frustration in there that happens. So when we get the systems uh, for servicing, we actually clean them out, we'll update the BIOSes, and we do what we have to do to make sure that they're running fresh again. Nice. Uh, this is actually a product design room. Unfortunately, we can't go in there. Uh, there are, there's a bunch of NDA parts in there. Uh, so as you know, we work with pretty much every silicon manufacturer, uh, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, uh, motherboard vendors. Everything that's going to come out uh, actually comes here and we test it here. Uh, we want to make sure that, you know, the products, uh, they physically, they fit in our systems. Uh, we test for bugs, BIOSes, BIOS issues, things like that. Mm. Um, it's one of the reasons why we don't have like a ton of options on our website. So like we only have like usually like three different motherboards, like a very limited selection. That's because we actually tested everything. Mm. Uh, when you offer like a million different configuration options, yeah. odds are of testing every configuration is pretty much impossible. Yeah. yeah, so that's one of the reasons why we offer limited configurations. Um, they're limited, but they're the best choices per category. Right? Yeah. So yeah. There's, there's reasons why we offer. Do a few things really well. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Um, we now have a really cool studio. Um, in our previous location, we didn't have... Um, a dedicated studio. We, already had, we always had to retrofit. So this is a very fluent uh, part of the building, right, where we're constantly taking it apart. We're putting new backdrops. We're painting it. We, you know, we're changing the background, stuff like that. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice to have a, a dedicated space where, you know, the guys don't have to uh, worry about timing. <laughs> so mm -hmm. they, can, they can be creative and do what they have to do. Yeah. And the amount of time that, they, that they need. Very cool. And this is the exciting part. Oh, yeah. This is the new nerdery. Oh, You've been yeah. to the old one. Welcome. Thank you. The nerdery, he Yes. Said. Um, <laughs> you've been to the old nerdery, and this is the new one. Um, essentially, here we, uh, we have the one-man, one-machine setups, right? So essentially here, this is the area where we're building, uh, technician is building each system from beginning to end. These are custom systems, right? So like if you go to our website and you configure a custom computer, um, it'll be built by a single technician and it'll be double checked by another technician after it's built. Um, during the week, the, mid, the center of the building here, which I'll show you, uh, we actually, this is, that's where we build the Kanban. So it's actually still built here. Basically, it's a manufacturing process that we use to build systems in batches where we have consistency, right? So the idea here was to, how do we scale the business and how do we, we build computers without losing the quality? Mm. Right, and while offering uh, you know a really good price as well, so that's why you'll see our pre-configured systems. They're priced really aggressively, um, and and they're built really well uh, mm. for that reason. We have a little ping pong action that goes on uh, throughout the day or yeah. during the day, so the guys will start to play ping pong soon once they once they wrap it up. Uh, and well, we actually have a, a barber that comes in, so we have a, a barber. We do, yeah. So uh, part of part of, one of the perks uh, is is uh, we actually uh, once a month we uh, we have a uh, my good friend Checo, he'll come here and he'll uh, he'll cut everyone's hair. Get a clean, get yeah, a clean cut yeah, and look yeah. sharp. You know, it saves time. So like stuff like that. Like if you think about it, like if you're working, and, and this is what changed our you know our mindset kind of changed during COVID, right? If you're mm. working from like you know Monday through Friday, and then you only have Saturday and Sunday, right? Like yeah. a lot of times you're spending half your Saturday going to a barber shop, yeah. you know, sitting there waiting for you to get a cut, whatever. Right? Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll save you that time. We'll save half of your Saturday. Nice, huh? nice. It just it makes sense. Bring the barber in. He makes a good buck. Yeah, yeah. He hair. does well. Everybody we do well. Good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, this is like the receiving part of our of our building. Uh, so uh, you know, when when we get boxes from you know from distributors and vendors, it comes in here. Uh, basically, you know, uh, we're unboxing everything. We're serial, we're, we're serializing everything. Uh, we're taking it into account into our inventory, right? So we want to make sure that everything's serialized. Everything is. Mm. Welcomed into into main gear, right? Right. And and I want to show you my brand new EV. You know, we're, <laughs> we're going green, and uh, this yes. is where you know we uh, we take the EV and uh, we drive it around. It's a, it's electric <laughs> and it's, it's a Toyota. It's 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 you know they said yeah, Toyota wasn't going uh, green with the they're Very going cool. hydrogen. We have proof. Oh, that's hydrogen. No, this is not hydrogen. This is actually electric. Uh, this is electric. EV. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, you know our our basically our inventory, you know our large inventory. So like a lot of the, the boxes coming in um, are going to come here, um, and basically, you know throughout the months this will get filled and 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 this will get you know drained as well, right? So like we fit a couple of containers of boxes in here. Um, as you can see, there's probably like two three containers over there in that corner, mm. um, and then it'll it'll get packed up. Once, uh, pro I think like another two weeks or so, we'll get some more stuff coming in. You guys moved some product, dude. Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right, man. Uh, and COVID <laughs> actually helped us, uh, helped us tremendously, like everybody else, right? Yeah. But um, we made sure that we didn't, we weren't opportunistic during those times. A lot, a lot of guys were, mm. and uh, we stood by our, you know, our customers, and we have our margins that we need to charge, right? That's yep. we're operating a business. Yeah. Got to pay. And we people. have families, and so we got to, you yeah. know, we we need to make money clearly yep. <clears throat> but we weren't opportunistic throughout the process we were basically charging fair prices so we did have long lead times right mm -hmm. um but uh just like everybody else did but you know we dealt with it and it was it was uh we came out better than we went in during covid which is an important thing good that's great know, work yeah. <laughs> so. yeah yeah sometimes you gotta run lean sometimes you gotta you know make hay when you can too yeah right? yeah and that's that's how it works yeah. good good stuff yeah. back to the bullpen yeah. back to the bullpen yeah there you go Thank you, Wallace. Your new castle looks pretty awesome, man. Thank you, man. Your Thanks, kingdom. I, it's always a pleasure having you guys over and catching up, and the conversation's always good. So. Well, absolutely, and it's always yeah. good building a, a good gaming PC with you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> Thank you again. Take Appreciate care. it. Good, right. to see you. good to see you. All right, so we're back in studio here after Wallace took us on a great tour of the factory, uh, the main gear warehouse, the main gear bullpen and sales there. Great stuff. And uh, now we're back in studio with the MG1 that we built that Brent helped us build, and... Uh, Remember we told you last time that the backside of this that was a rat's nest of cables was going to be main gear clean? Well, there you go. That's, that's main gear clean, ladies and gentlemen. Looking good. Mike, the technician, helped us out with that. Um, you know, it was kind of like time lapse, but at any rate, beautiful stuff, beautiful build. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take off the front panel and swap it with the custom HH logo panel. It is RGB lit. I'm gonna snap it on there nice and easy. Bang. Little main gear logo, little HH logo on the bottom, a little bit of RGB bling accentuating it. It's good stuff. Squeaky clean. So again on board, we have a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, 16 core CPU, 32 threads with 3D V-cache on board, and of course that Radeon RX 7900 XTX GPU, that big honking card you see right there. And uh, lots of great uh, system memory, uh, 64 gigs of DDR5, 6,000 megahertz memory, and of course that Solidime SSD, and the Thermaltake 1200 watt power supply. And it all fit in the MG1, looking good and ready for gaming. But wait, how about a little turbo benchmark action here with F122 at the ultra high quality preset 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled. Here we're going to pull 74 frames per second with 60 frames per second mins. Or perhaps Guardians of the Galaxy at 4K with ray tracing enabled. Max quality preset as well. Here at 85 frames per second with 52 frames per second mins. Good stuff from Main Gear. Hey Brent, thanks so much for helping us today. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. It was great to see you guys. Great to see the factory and uh, great to uh, join hands and uh, build a PC with our friends at Main Gear. And for that, we will say thanks for stopping by. Great to see you again. Great to see you. And uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We'd appreciate it so you get live notifications when we go with new content, new PC gaming builds, and uh, new tech for everybody. Take care. Brent, pull it. Pull it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff right there. Ta-da!